our core essence is the space between all life itself. It's the space between all things, all experiences, all time, all space. It's that sacred presence of the peaceful observer. It's the part of us that is always holding space. This is our core essence. In this third dimensional experience, the mind has been taught through experience, through conditioning, to be more focused on a destination-driven experience, meaning it's always about looking for the next thing. When we operate from this space, what ends up happening is we start to move into linear time, which is very much illusion-oriented. Linear time is all about past, future, and there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of dwelling, there's a lot of regrets, there's a lot of fear, and this is not who we are. We can have those experiences, but it does not reflect the core essence of who we are. When we are operating from our core essence, we start to transcend linear time and we start to enter eternal time. From this space of eternal time, we are able to operate from our most empowered state, our most sovereign, expanded version of ourselves, and imagine making decisions, imagine moving through life and navigating through life from this space of being connected to our core essence. So what happens is, often because the mind has been very connected to linear time, it feels as though if we connect to our core essence, it would lose its sense of self. So the way that our core essence expresses itself, so let's say the core essence, we could say it's the universe, love, source, God, goddess, energy, whatever we want to call it, it's all really the same thing. If that part of ourselves simply desires to express itself and expand, it can do so through something called an energy signature. So each one of us has our own energy signature. The energy signature is like a personality. The thing is, we can fully embrace our energy signature and allow ourselves to fully express that in creative ways because that's what we're here to do as these beautiful beings. However, we can also at the exact same time fully transcend any illusions that separate us, any illusions that make us feel small and insignificant. We can transcend those by fully connecting with our core essence. So then what we do is we actually merge our energy signature and our core essence so that they become one and we can still have that beautiful personality, that experience of our signature, while we are also connected to all that is, meaning we are connected to that space in between all time, space, and all things. When we fully are comfortable receiving our core essence, that is just us saying that we are fully comfortable receiving the abundance of life. You my beautiful friend, are the abundance of life. And when you receive all of you, you are receiving all of life. When the mind feels like it can't control something or it feels like it's just out of its scope of abilities, anything that feels big, sometimes the mind feels a little bit reluctant to receiving those parts of ourselves. Science has actually shown us that there are two brains that we have in our brain. We have the prehistoric brain, which is very primal, very survival oriented. And then right around that, it's actually wrapped with a newer, more evolved brain that is much more in line with being connected. It's a direct channel we can start to connect with our I am presence, with our spirit self. And so when we are in fight or flight, let's say you're walking across the street and there's a car coming, it's important to tap into that primal part of the brain to let us know, hey, move out of the way. 
However, when we are always operating from that space, we start to feel exhausted. We start to create limitations and barriers, and we start to have doubts and be in lack. If any of that sounds familiar to you, it just means that the primal part of the brain has been a little more developed than the evolved aspect of the brain. So let's go ahead and honor all the parts of us that worked so hard to refine the primal aspect of the brain, the parts of itself that did that in order to be safe and protected. The way that we can see the primal brain, the primal part of the brain, is two, three, four, five-year-old little child doing the best it can with its awareness to keep itself safe and protected. It thought that it didn't have a loving, compassionate presence that is always loving it, keeping it safe, holding space for it, giving it the opportunity to experience life. It forgot it simply forgot that it had that. Let's remind it, let's remind the primal parts of the brain that it has that compassionate presence, that it has that nurturing, mothering, loving father energy. It has that available for it. And let's show it how to receive that love. So the way we tap into our core essence is through the I am. So the I is actually the part of ourselves that is acknowledging itself. It's also acknowledging all of life. So the I is the acknowledgement. The am is the experience. So the I is the acknowledgement. The am is the experience. So when we are able to connect with the I, so the acknowledgement, I, I am one, with all that is, and then the am is the experience, all that is, is right here and right now, then we can start to see something beautiful emerge. And we're going to do this through a process right now. So go ahead and in your mind's eye, your eyes are closed, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and visualize either a chalkboard, eraser board, or even it could be you're looking out into the ocean and you are seeing right in front of you the words I am. So when you look at this word I, just affirm it out loud I, and then when you look at the am, just affirm out loud am. And you can then go ahead and just say it and repeat it silently as you see it right in front of you, I am. So we're going to just focus a little bit on the I first. We're going to focus on the I. So just focus your full attention on the I, which is you acknowledging the self, you acknowledging divinity. And then we're going to gently bring our focus to the am, which is you acknowledging the experience. And then you're going to go back to the I and then to the M. I am. I am. So as you are seeing these words right in front of you, I invite you to start noticing the space between the word I and am. Some people call it the void. Some people call it the zero point field of infinite possibility. Just focus on that space between the I and the am. The more you focus on the space between the I and the am, the more you notice that the I and the am start to dissolve. And all that is left is the space that was connecting the I and the M. This is the space that connects all life itself. This is the space where you come from. This is your source. This is where life manifests from. It's the sacred presence, your peaceful observer aspect.
ask yourself what would it feel like right now if you allowed yourself to let go of the I and to let go of the M and simply bask in this space of your core essence. The space between all life itself. What would that feel like? Let's just tap into that feeling and allow that feeling to wash over your body from hair strand to tippy toes. Allow it to wash over you like waves of peace and ease and flow. This is who you are. And we are often so caught up in a reality of doing that we forget simply to come back into the space of being. And let's express deep gratitude for your mind, for the primal part of the mind, for the evolved part of the mind, for your body, for your ability to use your five senses. Let's just express deep gratitude to all aspects of ourselves for allowing you to have this moment of connecting to your core essence, to that space in between all of life itself. This is you coming home to yourself. 